my name is Joe Seckel and I'm a systems architect here in DCS and today we want to talk about the uh, C410X. It's one of our newer PowerEdge C products that um, is fundamentally a 3U PCI Express expansion chassis. However, the first incarnation of it is going to be um, for GPGPU computing. We did this design, this uh, architectural concept for one of our DCS oil and gas customers in, in the arena of seismic processing. And the problem statement that they brought to us was one of uh, density and flexibility. In describing their needs, they were uh, still in somewhat in flux as to how many GPGPUs uh, they felt they would want to tie to one two socket server. Um, that over a period of a month, uh, in terms of nailing down their requirements, their ratios changed from two to three to even four GPGPUs per two socket servers. So it was pretty clear to us that we needed a system that could afford not only that customer but other customers' flexibility. The other uh, requirement, since we were putting 16 GPGPUs in a 3U shared chassis, the uh, other requirement, given the failure domain, was to ensure that there was a, a good uh, set of redundancy, both in terms of the power as well as cooling, and that uh, any failed items, be it a GP, GPU or uh, power supply or even fan, could be serviced without taking the entire system offline. So as I, as I walk through the, the uh, chassis construction here a little bit, you'll understand why we did certain things with respect to how we arranged the uh, uh, components. The, uh, I guess the, the first thing to show off is what goes in to these 16 modules. This is a GPGPU. It's a full height, roughly 4.4, almost 4.5 inches tall. It plugs into a by 16 PCI Express slot. It's about an inch and a half in width, and it, this one happens to be about 10 and a half inches in length. And so we uh, designed a module. That I, I like to call it a taco because when we first put it together, it, it had side walls and a bottom, and then had a top that we slid over top. And so I, you know, explained it to the customer that it was kind of like a taco. The um, GP GPU, or frankly any PCI Express card can go into this module, plug into the by 16 and uh, whether that card is a GP GPU or could be a Fusion I.O. solid state type of uh, card or even a um, some kind of a network card. Each one of these modules then independently plugs in and out and so if for whatever reason we have a, an issue with one of the GP GPUs, it can be pulled out taken offline without affecting the other GP GPUs or the other hosts that might be sharing this chassis. Okay, we have, this, this is a sample, so it's a few mechanical burrs to work out yet. As you can see there were 10 on the cold aisle, we have another 6 modules in the hot aisle to complete the 16 modules or 16 GP GPUs per 3U. We also have um, up to 8 hosts or host interface that can talk to this system at any one point in time through a series of uh, fan out uh, devices and switches for PCI Express. One host can see anywhere from 1 to 4 GP GPUs. Um, to have a full complement of 8 hosts and 16 GP GPUs, in that case, each host would see two downstream GP GPUs. From a power supply standpoint, we have uh, 3 plus 1 power, meaning that any one of these can go down, and we still have a redundant power supply that can pick up the load. And finally, to complete the serviceability and redundancy, we have uh, 7 plus 1, total of 8 fans that, um, again, if any one of these fans go down, the other seven pick up the thermal load, and you can slide out the chassis, flip open this lid, get access to the fans and their hot plug fans. You can replace the uh, failed fan, plug it back in, and uh, you're off and running again with a full complement of fans. This uh, 
the differentiation with this system over other solutions and what it afforded the customer was, again, the ability to be flexible through a, uh, uh, a strapping or over the out-of-band uh, IPMI LAN port. You can go in and arrange the fan out or the switches for PISA Express to allow a host to talk to one, two, three, or four GP GPUs. Uh, in other words, one, two, or three, or four of these modules. And that, again, that kind of flexibility uh, was good for this uh, oil and gas customer, given they were still working on their algorithm and didn't know the exact ratio they would land on yet. Um, and again, the other, the other advantage that we have over solutions that, uh, especially that are in external GPGPU chassis, would be the fact that we have a high degree of serviceability. So it's really important that when you are uh, supporting, let's say, uh, two 6100s with one of these 410X chassis, it's really important that uh, if, if you need to service one of these modules, that you don't affect uh, all eight of those server nodes that you would have in two 6100 chassis, and you only affect the node uh, for which uh, you're pulling its uh, GPGPU module. So serviceability and flexibility are two key strengths over uh, competitive solutions in this space.